Some people are asking us, why do we hunt? Why do we kill animals if we love and want to protect them? Well, we didn't forget who we are. We live in today's modern world, but we're still a part of nature. Still participating in its natural food chain and responsible for wildlife's balance. We're proud of having the strong genes of our ancestors and, as much as possible, trying to live an organic life. We travel a lot in search of wild and pristine places for hunting, fishing, and spearfishing. By saving our time, looking for the locations that can offer it all at once. Actually, we found such a place. This beautiful area, located in the Midwest of Norway, is surrounded by mountains and valleys. Crystal clear rivers, full of Atlantic salmon and lakes with rising trout. Majestic fjords, boiling of saltwater fish, and forests, rich with wildlife. This is an extraordinary place with its unique and natural nature. We used to fish in these waters, but this time we came here to hunt moose. Our plan is to discover the hunting ground and find the most moose in the area first, then set a target on the weakest male and try to eliminate him. I'm gonna try to go moose down up here, there and there. So this is the three spots where we're gonna call them. Even though there is a concentrated moose population, it wasn't easy to find them in that big area. It was supposed to be prime rut time, but there was no response to our moose calls up in the hills. down in the valleys in the farmer fields feeding. Probably they migrated down and mostly holding in the bushes in the daytime and early morning, late evening, they're coming out and eating. So we decided to change tactics and check down in the valleys. There were lots of moose all over the place. So now, 
The only thing left is to find our target. After several days of observation, we spotted a young bull with abnormal and still hairy antlers, which seemed like the best choice to reduce the local moose population. Finally, we have the target. Found out where he is crossing the river, and now it is just a waiting game, with hope for him to show up. Born to From ash to fire A spark ignites oh God, Two cows, almost like four years old. The dark is Second evening in the hide, and our patience paid off. Here he is, standing next to another trophy bull that offers a perfect shot scenario as well. But not this time. We gotta play fair by our plan. Yes, we love animals. We kill them, and we watch them die. It's not easy. But that's our duty, to conserve and keep balance in nature by reducing some species overpopulation. In this case, moose. We know that we did the right thing by eliminating this young moose instead of a strong trophy bull which will extend further his healthy generation. In return, we get fresh and organic food. Wild food is the most important reason why we hunt. This moose will feed our families and us for a long time, which prevents us from buying genetically replaced farm food. Less farm food means less farm fields. Fewer farm fields means more room for natural habitats for wildlife. That's one of the aspects of how important it is for us to stay in the natural food chain. And if we continue respectfully to use nature's resources with conservation in mind, we'll stay a part of nature, not beside her. I 
and gets the truth.